Hey everyone, uh, today I'm going to introduce the Axia Adaptive Widget Library system and, and talk about the next update. Um, so we're getting near to a full release of the Adaptive Widget Library. I'm going to detail an upcoming update which should make it launch ready hopefully. But first we'll do a quick intro of the Adaptive Widget Library. So we're using uh, version 7.003183 of Axia and we are using version 0 0.02 of the framework uh, that is the, the project file, the RP file uh, and we are using version 0 0.02.01 of the widget library, that's the RPLIB file okay just go back to the RP. Um, so this file, the framework, consists of the paging and menu system. We create the whole prototype in one page so we can affect mobile-like animations between conceptual pages. The framework file includes the adaptive views, of course, uh, which must be absolutely identical to the adaptive views in the RPLIB widget library file show you that as you can see these are the same um, to briefly detail the way the adaptive views are set up in the system it's mobile first with the base view uh, being for the smallest devices this view covers devices uh, between or from 0 to 532 pixels wide uh, the medium size view is for devices between 533 and 959 and the largest is for devices over 960 pixels wide. The assumption is that the designs are scaled up or down accordingly. Um, hence why we are working at sort of the smaller end of the scale for, for each design so we, we can validate that it works in this smaller more constrained space. Um, so you can actually annotate specific percentage values to components on the page, um, sort of layout components, but generally I assume the developers I'm working with can do that with some, some guidance. In the framework file we have the viewport panel here selected. Uh, this contains all the action. Dive into this uh, and we find the header, the content and the menu. These are all dynamic panels and as the user interacts these are moved around behind the viewport to get the typical um, sort of pull out menu, mobile menu. I'll just show you a quick demo of that. So here you are, here's the medium view and here's how it pulls out. Okay. Okay, it's the content panel we're interested in today. The panel states in the con content panel are effectively the pages in our prototype. This is the paging system. If you want to add a page, do it here. Let's open that up. Oh, spell it right. Um, yes, let's open it up uh, and demonstrate how the adaptive widgets work. If you need to load the adaptive widget library, um, you do it here. Um, of course, you will need to download the uh, widget library from my website. It's uh, on wedesignexperience.co.uk. You can find that on the Axure goodies page. Um, so, I assume we've loaded that. And here are the widgets. Um, so, let's just drag and drop. It's as simple as that. So, we grab this heading one, drop it into the base view. Let's grab this text widget, drop it in there. And as you can see, it adapts accordingly between the views as you adapted it in the RPLIB file. Um, so I'm going to illustrate an issue which occurs when we drag out subsequent adaptive widgets onto a page. Um, so let's do that now. We're going to drag out a one of these uh, sections, like this pair section. 
Uh, so let's see how it looks across the adaptive views. See, it's sort of dropped halfway down the page in the medium view and again in the large view. So um, if we select it, so it's selected. So as you can see, it's it's we've grouped um, the various component widgets of this adaptive widget, so we can move it into the right place in the adaptive views. Let's do that now. So five three three medium view we need to pull it up and position it under the content and we're going to go into the 960 view and this is where we have a problem you see uh, the problem we're seeing is occurring because some of the component widgets are inheriting the positional edits we just made to the medium view but others are not okay let's undo our move to just illustrate the problem um, the problem we're seeing um, okay the image here has a location of 10 x 10 and y 1516 uh, if we go to the large view we'll see that this widget also has the same location So, um, this image has a location of, so because it's the only widget where the position property is the same, the edits are inherited from the medium to the large view. You see this image, for example, has a different location. Um, so I'm going to fix this by forcibly breaking the inheritance in the widget library file i.e. I'm going to make sure that the location properties of the objects do not match when you drop it onto a page uh, so let's go to our pair section uh, so we simply fix this by grabbing everything moving it down one pixel so now when we drop it in the destination page um, all of the component widgets of the adaptive widget uh, will have a different location and so the inheritance will be broken let's save that as a new version 0.02 I've already got it earlier let's just overwrite that let's replace it and go back to the framework file. I'm just going to undo what we dropped there earlier. And we're going to load a new library, our updated library. There it is. And we're going to drop our new fixed widget into the base view. We're going to go to our medium view. And we're going to put it in the correct place there to our large view and there we go the, the issue we saw earlier has been fixed okay um, so I'm going to update the rest of the widgets to to work in this way and I will post the latest version of the widget library uh, in due course okay so it's a bit awkward this one, it's a bit of a hack. Um, hopefully actually we'll come up with a better way of dealing with this issue so we can have more adaptive widget libraries. Um, okay, uh, yes, that's it for today. Thank you.